found out my wife had phone sex and online and online she emotional sex with her phone with her old Woo! flame. Dear Georgina, I'm a man in my 40s and I've recently found out that my wife has been having some sort of emotional affair. Have you noticed that we always have to define what kind of affair it is? So what yeah. kind of an affair is not emotional? <laughs> what would be an emotionless affair? I watch TV commercials and get emotional. You do, George. Right? You get so emotional. I step Every outside, time. I get emotional, right? I eat some food, I get emotional. Whether I'm like, this is crap or I'm like, oh, this is really nice. Like. How could she have not had an emotional affair? First of all, right, think about some of the ways in which you use language because it sounds like there might be a communication problem between you and your missus, you know? So anyway, sorry about that. It didn't mean to start by insulting the poor person in need. <laughs> sorry sorry about that, mate. Right, so some sort of emotional affair with an old boyfriend. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah that's not nice. No. Sorry about that. We've been together for nearly 20 years, most of which has been very happy. And we also have two children together. It started out as reconnecting via social media. Then they start... It's pain and social media, isn't it, it? isn't it? Then they the start new age. to text and chat a lot. No, no. The, See, so mm, first of all, go on, go on. first of all, mate, you've got to lay some boundaries. You've got to lay some... Because the thing is, is a woman will respect a man who has boundaries. Now, that doesn't mean a man who's like, stay in the room, don't go outside, don't look at anyone, don't speak to any men. That's pathetic. But if you're literally like... It, no, I'm not happy with you speaking to your ex and chatting and having text messages and da 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 because you as like, call it man of the house, okay? You want to be the man of the house who's trying to create an environment which is healthy for your relationship, your marriage and your children, okay? And if you let somebody come into that house which is going to cause friction and be ultimately damaging for you and your children, then it is uh, a negative. There's, there's a, a good saying in regards to how to live your life, which is the decisions you make right now, you should be thinking about how they will benefit you and your family in the long run. That's, that's the ultimate goal. Is what I'm doing today good for tomorrow? And if it's like that, is that gonna be good for tomorrow? Obviously not, right? Her speaking to her ex on the phone, texting back and forth, is not going to make life better for you and your children in, in a month and six months, okay? It's just not. Now, the fact of the matter in, in marriage is people oftentimes meet people who they find themselves suddenly very attracted to. Now, if you strike up a, a stronger connection and keep it going, you have a whole sort of brief encounter scenario, like that magnificent film, okay, then, you're creating a problem and sometimes you have to turn your back on it before you let that other thing grow and essentially be like a tree in the center of your house that's like, so oh no, where's this thing going wrong? Now it's, we're in the way, it's blocking us from each other. It's, it's a tree on the sofa and now she's there and I'm here and we can't even connect anymore. There are all these branches in the way, right? You've let the branches grow. So a woman would say to you quite plainly, like, I don't want you going out with that girl at work. Mm. I don't want you texting her back and forth. I don't want you to get all mm. like, like touchy-feely with her over a long period of time. There are certain things where a woman will likely be okay with it. Like let's say, you know, it doesn't happen much anymore, unfortunately, but like people going to a dance, okay? We're gonna go out for the dance. It, it would be kind of normal that like you take your, your girlfriend or your wife and you dance with her and maybe a couple of times in the night she dances with another guy, you dance with another girl, can I have this dance, can I have this dance and then at the end you go back to your partner and you go home together and that's a little bit of like intimacy that doesn't carry on. It's not like, oh, I've got that one's phone number and that one's phone number. No, it's just, it's a bit of a dance and you warm each other up and it can actually be quite a turn on, right? Believe it or not, you can see your girl with some bloke having a, having a friendly dance and you're like, I know he likes her. I know he likes my girl. I know he wants to take her home and give her a bit of a roger in. And, and it can make you just a little bit jealous in a way that's not unhealthy. Because it's like, yeah, I've got a bit of a catch, haven't I? Right, I've got something that's sort of rare and sought after. Yeah, that's not so bad. But this is you bringing it into the home, okay? You're bringing it into the home because that's what the phone has done. And that's, that's it's dangerous. It's not your fault. It's technology. You, you didn't plan for it, right? You, this is brand new. But the fact is, is you're bringing the person into the home by letting it happen. And so as a guy, you got to do your guy stuff and say, this, uh, this is not acceptable, yeah. 
It's my way, it's my way, my way or the highway. <laughs> Someday you'll see things my way. Thank you to that uh, courtesy of Fred Durst, you know, bringing his poetry here into this gaff, right? Um, but yeah, so it's a bit difficult. I'm not telling you to be rude or aggressive to your, to, to your honey, but do say to her, how would you feel if I did this to you? If I just called up my old girlfriend and chatted to her every fucking day, right? Would you be okay with it? She'd be like, okay, I, I guess I see what you mean. You'd think so, you'd hope so. Right. <clears throat> so they started to text and chat a lot. The messages became flirty and then sexual. And this progressed to phone sex. On How the fucking hell do you know? What, are you sitting in the room listening? Like, Jesus, there's a certain point where you've got to say, hang on a sec, why is he in the bed with us? Like, and you just rolled over to the corner. Oh, I think, I think maybe she likes him. As they're, like, going at it. Um, no, that's horrible. Not nice. How, oh, God, I feel sorry for you. So I feel for you, man. phone sex on a few occasions. She told me she they they've never met in person since reconnecting online, and that she's going to tell him it's over, and that they can't. How do chat you know anymore. that they had phone sex? How do you know? I mean, phone sex is not text. Phone sex is what are you doing right now? What are you wearing? Put your fingers down there. Oh yeah. How is it? Is it all moist? Oh my god, are they slipping in? Mmm. Did those fingers find their way into your little cave? Your little bat cave, did they? Mmm. Is Robin in there as well? <laughs> Have you got a Batmobile stored in there? Mmm. This is every man's fantasy. Um. Yeah. I mean, how? You combine it, it, sex with Batman and Robin, George. That is the ultimate fantasy. You just got perfection <laughs> right there. But uh. But you know. Just get Catwoman involved. Sounds right? like she's a bit of a joker. Yeah. But listen, it's uh, what? how did it happen? How so, can you? Yeah. Let, how can how can they have phone sex? Like, and you know about it? She what must, she, she said to you? Be. Oh, you know, you know that old boyfriend of mine I had phone sex with him earlier today. Uh, and she, you sat there going, did it's you? It's a funny one, isn't it? Oh, did he you? Hasn't, he hasn't really described. To be how. fair, I, I I know what it's like to respond like that because it always takes me my my brain, Luke. When women tell me nonsense like that, right? My brain is a bit like a computer that crashes, and then it has to restart before you can get it moving again. So if a woman did say something to me like, yeah, bumped into my old boyfriend today, we went for coffee. I don't go, what? <laughs> I do sit there and just go, hmm. And I go completely silent <laughs> as my computer just crashes. <laughs> and it, it takes uh, me probably about a day to go. So you know that thing you told me yesterday, <laughs> right? Yeah, let's have a talk about that. That, that's usually how it works. So I completely understand why you'd go a bit like, oh, you had phone sex, did you? <laughs> and then whatever else she says, you just, just block it all out, don't you? Yeah. yeah. It's funny that. Most of the time when women talk to me, it does seem like they're on mute, <laughs> except for when they drop something like that. You know, Randy, my old boyfriend, bumped into him with my clothes off yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I heard that, did I? <laughs> when you're rabbiting on about everything else and your friend Charlene for about six and a half yeah, hours, yeah. I didn't hear a word of it. But then suddenly you just slip in that and it's like... <laughs> so, listen. This gentleman needs our help, George. He needs our help and he needs it now. Well, I think I just gave it to him. Is that finished? Is it that is. the end of his what request? He, what should he do? What should <sighs> he do, George? So that's the how it ended? Yeah, look. She's, apparently she's told she's going to tell him... It's over. They can't chat anymore. What advice should we give him? What should we tell him? Because I feel like at this point, set some boundaries. He's got, yeah, you got I mean, the right. So, is, though, George, no, uh, all right. He should have set the boundaries earlier. Right. Yeah. It's too late. But no, it's all right. Listen. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, me old chum. Um, don't set boundaries in an aggressive, angry, needy way. You have to set boundaries, kind of like a dad, to his daughter who he loves. Right. And he's like, I'm going to set certain boundaries for your good. And I know you don't want to follow them. And I know you want to rebel and all that sort of stuff. But the point is, is it's, it's literally you sit, you, you speak to her in, in a not don't be like, let me hold you. Let me hug you. Oh, my God, I feel so bad. I feel so needy. Let me just know that you're still here. That's not good. Right. You, you kind of want to sit there on the edge of the bed or something or sit there opposite a table and very calmly your, your be like here's the thing i care about us i want this to work okay 
if you do these things, it makes me want to turn away. It makes me want to not be with you. It makes me want to walk away. I don't feel attracted to you when that happens because it makes me not believe in this anymore, okay? And if you're doing that, then this isn't working, right? So, you know, I'm not angry, really. I'm not like gonna just throw you aside, okay? But I need you to stop doing it or you're gonna make me want to throw you aside and, and walk in a different direction, okay? So with politeness and dare I say it, love, right? Literally say, my way or the highway. I, you know, the fact that they haven't physically, you know, they didn't physically get together, I think you've got to sort of look at it on the bright side as well, that it could have been worse. That you, she's, you know, for whatever, however way you found out about it now, and you guys can move on from, from here. As, as George said, you can set some boundaries. She's not going to speak to this person again. It's done with, and you guys can hopefully move forward. And who knows, maybe your relationship will be even stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Problem. probably you will. If you can if you can put your foot down a little bit, then you'll feel stronger and then you'll know that the whole thing is a bit stronger because you'll be like, oh, I, I can, you know, make a few decisions to be a man. Problem solved. Solved, baby, solved.